All right, guys. So let's go to uh, this question right here. So this question here, man, is very interesting question. So they're giving a graph there. It's like I would see there. The graph is given over there. No, but I can't see there. They say, okay, so we have a straight line, which is f of x, and then we have a v, negative 3 and 4. These are certain points, line on the line, and then we have a parabola. And this parabola, we have a time point is given, which equals 3 and 2, and then we have s and t. These are, you see this line here? This line here is parallel to y axis. You see what I'm saying? But T S or H T is not on time point. Time point is other, and they have a P and Q. This P and Q look. This straight line and parabola the intersect of P and Q. And that's what. So this is given here. Let's say straight line y equal to m m x plus k means straight straight line which is f m x m x plus k and straight line intersect of the parabola P and Q P and Q. We see that H T pi to y axis means uh this y axis and H T a pi. So what do they want us to do? They say calculate M and K, hence write down the equation of F. So they want us to get M and K. So that's easy, man. Before I get started, before I get started, look. If somebody give you, let's say this is parabola, excuse me. And somebody give you here, excuse me. Let's say this is uh, okay, let's say this is um uh uh negative two, and this is let's assume it's three. They say okay. Oh, this is three here, excuse me. This is three here. They say find turning points. What are turning points? The turning point is where the graph or parabolic graph is going to turn. By looking, the turning point should be somewhere there. Okay, so how do you get turning points? Let me show you the easy one, right? The turning point is always take the x intercept, add by two, divide by two, add them, divide by two. So for me to get turning points, mean the coordinate of x here are the turning point to get x at turning points. Take x intercept, so the face x intercept, which is negative 2. What does x intercept means where it's going to cut at x? So we have a negative 2 and another x, which is going to cut at x equal to 3, and then divide by 2. And these, they're going to give me where the graph is going to turn. So this is going to give me 1 here, uh, negative 2 plus 3, 1 over 2, which is equal to half. So the graph is going to turn when x equal to half means here. x, a half. So the x is a half. And then if you want to get y, it's easy. So I'm saying what you do, you take this value here, you substitute if they give it a quadratic equation. Let's say you have to set a quadratic equation, you substitute this value of x into the given equation. But that's not part of our question for now. So that's how you get turning point, x a turning point, the short way. But if you look at my video, I've explained better what about turning point, right? So if somebody give me something like this, excuse me. So somebody give me something like this, excuse me. Let's say somebody give me something like this. And they say here, uh, let's say uh, this is uh, negative 2. And they say they give it time points now, they give negative two and they give it time points. Let's assume time points, excuse me. <laughs> Our time points are okay. This ne this negative two here. This is negative two means x intercept, and the time points they give us, let's say, um x equal to uh, three and y equal to four. So they say, what is the value of here? It's easy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because look. This line of symmetry means at the graph where it turns, it means, okay, at the turning point where the graph it turns, means that's a divide the graph equal. For example, look, if somebody give this, excuse me. Where the graph turns, it divide the graph equally. It means this is a line of symmetry. When you say symmetry, is something divide whatever equally into two equal parts. For example, excuse me, let me take a, his example here closer, something that I see is closer to me. Okay. Just me, just a minute, right? I'm trying to get something which I'm going to show you the good example. I can't get it, man. Sorry, I apologize, man. Let me just do it. Okay. Oh, I can't get it, my apologies. Okay, so uh, let's go. Okay. So if somebody say, ah, no, I don't have a good example here. Okay, anyway, for example, this one. Okay, line of symmetry. No, that's not a good example. Oh, my apologies. Okay, let's continue, but I can't get something quickly. Okay. I can't get it. Sorry. It's okay. It's fine. Just ignore it. So now, if you. Line of symmetry means divide empty equal. You know what I'm saying? It means this is a line of symmetry. So if they give me negative 2 and they have 3 and 4, so what is our value of x? If, look, the distance from here to here, it must be a distance from here to there. So what is the distance from here to here? Look, man. If this is 3, it means here it's going to be 3. So what is the distance here? Look, 1 unit, 2, 3 units. So it's going to go the same unit here. 1, 2, 3. So from 3, if you go 3 units, it has to be 6. So 
you can just determine the value of uh, other x intercept if they give you tonic pranks. So for that case now, if you go back to our equation, and we can get a tonic pranks right away, I don't have to calculate. Look, man, this is x intercept equal to 1. And the distance from here, look, this is a line, if I had to draw a line of symmetry, I can draw here. Line of symmetry here, line of symmetry. So the distance here, look, distance from here, this is 3. So if this is 3, this must be 3. So the distance here, look, how many units? 2 to 3. So it has to go the same 2 units. So it has to be 4 to 5. So at Q, at Q, value of x, it has to be 5. But remember this x is set to y equal to 0. So we know the value of Q just by, before we get started doing uh, solving the equation. So let's go to the questions now. Excuse me. So let's say calculate the value of M and K and here's write the equation of F. M and K. So you say K. So we know, scroll straight line. It means that a pen quick. Excuse me, so we're saying y, straight line, y equal to mx plus k. So in this line, which is a straight line, what do we have? We have a line, we have a coordinate which lie on this line. So whenever you have a coordinate which lie on the line, since it lies on line, we can take this coordinate and put it in here because the line on this line, which is y mx plus k. Okay, so which one we have? This is y coordinate. So we're gonna apply here y, which is for equal to m, we don't know, which is slope. So you're going to say m, you don't know, by the value of x, negative 3. Man, why you do that? Because this coordinate, which is negative 3, 4, it lies on straight line. And this y, m, x, plus k is a straight line. So for that case, we can take this coordinate and plug it in here. Yeah, it's acceptable. So we say, okay, 4, m, negative 3, and then plus k. Cool. So now we can't solve. We can't move anymore. So we can say, okay, let me just simplify a little. So we say 4, uh, negative 3, m, plus k. Let me call this first equation. So for that case now, I have another coordinate 2. I have another coordinate 2. Excuse me. Another coordinate is 5 and 0. So I'm going to take 5 and 0 too. So it's okay. So also at point Q is 5 and 0. Lies on line also. On a line 2. On a line y equal to m x plus k. So I can take those coordinates and, and substitute them into, into here. Which coordinate? 5 and 0. Why? Because this coordinate lies on the line y and x plus k. So let's plug it in. So it's okay. So that's okay. So what is my y? Y equal to 0. So say 0 equal to m. I don't know. M. x, x equal to 5. So m times 5. And the plus k. <coughs> excuse me. k. I don't know. k. So I'll say just k. So I can simplify this. going to be 0 equal to 5. m plus k. So I can make subject k. Pro, let's make subject k. So it's okay. So let's make subject k. Excuse me. Subject k. So if I want to make subject k, so it's okay. So let me, I'm going to solve now simultaneous by subject. So this will be my second equation. So let me make subject k. So I'm going to say okay, k. And this is going to go over. Equal to negative 5 m. So k equals negative 5 m. So I'll take this k equals negative 5 m. And then I'll substitute into phase equation. So I'm going to say this substitute in phase equation. Substitute. K equal to negative 5 M into phase equation. So phase equation is going to become, and then which is going to become, it's going to become, okay, so we have a 4 equal to negative 3 M. Okay, well, K is going to be equal to negative 5 M. Okay, this is going to give us negative 8 M equal to 4. So, divide by negative 80, divide by negative 80, this and this cancel. So, M equal to this and this by 4, 1, by 4, 2, so just negative a half. So, M equal to negative a half. M equal to negative a half. So, we got the value of M. M equal to negative a half. So, now, how are we going to get A, K? Easy. M equal to negative a half. So, I can take this value of M equal to negative a half and plug it in here. See, and then I'll get the value of k. So hey, so I'll say this on m, I'll substitute. Let me call this third equation. So I'll substitute, substitute m equal to negative k into third equation, into third means here. So it's okay. So let's substitute in third. So k equal to negative five. What is that m? M equal to m equal to negative half. 
So there we get 5 over 2. So this is our k. So for that case now, I have a value of k, I have a value of m. So now I can substitute them back into this main equation. And now I have already calculated the value of m and k. And write the equation of f. Okay, so I will write the equation of f. This, this is f. What you mean is f? This one line is a straight line, which is this one. So this is my f. Okay, so let's write our f. So it's okay, finally. Done. Let me use the right pen here, right? So f, therefore, our f of x equal, what is our m? We got m. m equal to negative by half. x, and then we got plus. What is a k? k 5 over 2. 5 over 2. Done. Okay, so thank you a lot of your time. And don't forget to leave a comment, right? So f of x, which is linear, equal to m. What is m? Negative by half x plus 5 over 2. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to leave a comment. And this is Trina with Banto Academy. We'll go right here on top, man. Always I got right here on top. Always in Trina with Banto Academy. Trina. Trina with Banto. Academy, just move there, please, man. Don't be nuts. Okay, trying about don't be mad, right? So not of an ancient. Academy, trying about academy. Let me decorate, man. I gotta decorate this. It's tough. Trying about academy, man. Decorate, man. Why are you here writing so bad? Trying to decorate. The question is done, right? It's all right, trying about academy there on top. But the question is done already, so. I'm trying to. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ubuntu. Ubuntu Academy. How about I can see it, right? Academy. Trying about Academy, man. So, okay, so the decorate. Mm. I'm trying to. Wow. Ando. Time. Thank you, Tom, right? So, don't forget to leave a comment. Any question, please. Leave a, you know, leave a comment. Ask me anytime, right? Feel free anytime. Ask me a question. There's some trying about academy.